Icon of the Seas has made big headlines since being revealed by Royal Caribbean. And we've got today a look at all the cabins and suites, including some new categories that have never existed on any Royal Caribbean cruise ship up next. Hey everyone, it's Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. If you're like me, you got super excited for everything Royal Caribbean has to share with Icon of the Sea. Since the reveal last week, unless you're watching this video in a year from now, hey, it's okay too. There have been a lot of people super excited about Icon, and if you're like me, you got super excited and then started wondering, okay, I want to book this cruise, but what type of cabin do I want to get? In addition to the cool neighborhoods and new features and things you can do on board the cruise ship, there's also a number of new cabins that have been added. Now, there's some favorites here. Don't get me wrong. There's still inside rooms and balcony rooms and suites and all that. But Royal Caribbean took this opportunity to introduce new categories. In fact, there are 28 unique categories across Icon of the Seas. There are new categories of cabins, new neighborhoods, and views that have never been offered on a Royal Caribbean cruise ship before. So if you're looking to sail on Icon and you're brand new or you're an experienced cruiser, there is going to be opportunity to learn something about some of these new categories. In fact, there are eight new types of suites, four new types of balconies, and two new types of interior rooms. So there's quite a bit. Over 50% of Icon's rooms are new to the cruise line. And there's also a renewed focus on families on board. More than 82% of all rooms on board Icon of the Seas can accommodate three or more guests, which opens up a lot of options for families that are out there. More than 70% of all rooms on Icon will have balconies. There are 2,805 total staterooms, including 179 suites, 1,815 balcony staterooms, 276 ocean view staterooms, and 535 interior staterooms. Now, in addition to all that, there are a number of new categories. One interesting fact is that Royal Caribbean has increased the size of the shower in every stateroom across the ship. Royal Caribbean has also added an integrated bench to every standard shower, which means it's part of the shower and doesn't fold up or down. So let's jump into the different types of cabin categories available on Icon of the Sea, starting with the standard cabins. We'll get to the suites a little bit later on. Now, as I mentioned, there are a number of new categories here, including the family infinite ocean view balcony, infinite ocean view balcony itself, Infinite Central Park View Balcony, the Surfside Family View Balcony, Surfside Family View Interior, Interior Plus. We'll get to all of this in a second. Let's jump right into it. Starting off with the Family Infinite Ocean View Balcony. This can accommodate up to six people. It has 285 square feet and a balcony size of 50 square feet. What's interesting is there's a split bath here, which means that two people can use the bathrooms at the same time. One person can shower, one person can use the commode. And this is a really helpful fact for families that are out there because one person can't hog up the entire bathroom. This is a new concept, and the infinite balcony concept is something that you're going to see repeated a lot. So what the heck is an infinite balcony? Basically, it allows you to expand your indoor living space and invite the sea breeze in with a touch of a button. By pushing it, it can convert from an inside room to a balcony or otherwise just an ocean view room. The cool thing is, imagine this. Let's say it's really hot outside, but you want to have that balcony space without being outside and being in the heat or humidity. Close up the infinite balcony and you've got plenty of space over there. But if the sea breeze is what you want, hit that button and bam, you've got the breeze. But more importantly, that balcony space can either be used when you're outdoors or inside. Because when the window's up, then you have an air-conditioned space, more living space in the cabin. This is huge. As somebody who admittedly loves booking balconies but doesn't really sit on the balcony a whole lot, every extra foot of living space is really worthwhile. So this is something that comes on the family infinite ocean view balcony along with many others, including the infinite ocean view balcony itself. The infinite ocean view balcony cabin I one and I three has occupancy of three or four people, uh, 200 square feet, 50 square feet of balcony space. And there are 419 kinds of cabins. Now they're also standard ocean view, large balconies, connecting ocean balconies and regular standard ocean view balconies. These are your stereotypical balcony rooms, not infinite balcony, just standard balcony. And these are available. And there's quite a number of them on board. Now, there's also the Infinite Central Park View Balcony. So, a balcony that faces towards Central Park. This is a concept that was first introduced on the Oasis-class cruise ships. But, just like the Ocean View ones, uh, this cabin allows you to expand your indoor living space and open up the fresh air with the touch of a button. When you press the button, the upper panel slides down below the lower panel, creating a balcony with the top open and the lower glass remaining. So, if you want to do a Central Park View instead of an Ocean View, you can do that on Icon of the Seas. I really do enjoy the Central Park view balconies in general. I really think that they're just nice to have because you can do ocean facing balconies on a lot of cruise ships in the world, but not many that face inwards. And I like the people watching aspect and the live music at night really makes a difference. I like the ambiance, if you will. Now, of course, there is a central park view balcony that's available too. 
Brand new neighborhood added on icon of the seas will be Surfside, which is dedicated to young families. And Surfside will feature splash areas for babies and kids, as well as a relaxing pool and lounge place for parents, family-friendly eateries, shops, a new pool-themed version of the Royal Caribbean Carousel, and a bar with mommy and me matching cocktails for kids and cocktails for grown-ups as well. This area is going to be a big hit for families, and you do have the choice here of maybe booking a room that faces Surfside, just like the boardwalk facing balconies on the Oasis class. Same basic idea. The Surfside Family View Balcony can accommodate either three or four people, depending on which category you book. It's a 196 square feet, 50 square feet of balcony space, and there's quite a number of them as well. Another really fun type of room is the Panoramic Ocean View. So this one is basically a balcony, but features floor-to-ceiling windows. Kind of a nice idea and something that a lot is overlooked by a lot of people. You're also going to find standard Ocean View cabins, Central Park View interior rooms, which are, of course, interior rooms that have a view, a window, if you will, to Central Park. And there's also Surfside Family View interiors. So it's the Surfside Family View room that can accommodate three or four people, but it doesn't have a balcony. It just has a window that looks out there. Something else fun is the spacious interior room available and something that's brand new, Interior Plus. So what makes Interior Plus different than a standard interior room? And basically, the Interior Plus room is perfect for somebody who that prefers an interior room but wants more storage space. So not only are you getting more living space, you're getting more places to put all your stuff for the cruise. All right, let's talk about the suites on board because Icon of the Seas will be the next class of Royal Caribbean cruise ship to offer the Royal Suite Class program. And there are Star Class rooms and Sky Class and C tier rooms as well. And we'll talk all about that. Starting off with number one, the Ultimate Family Townhouse. Now, you've heard about the Ultimate Family Suite on some of the other Royal Caribbean cruise ships that have been out there, but this is now the Ultimate Family Townhouse. And this is really an over the top VIP stay because they really wanted to make this about as fun and cool as you could possibly imagine if you've got kids or you are still a kid at heart, quite frankly, because it goes across three different decks with an in-suite slide, movie theater, patio with exclusive entrance to Surfside neighborhood. The Ultimate Family Townhouse is a sprawling area with three levels of surprises, and you can go down the slide into the living room. There's hidden nooks. The movie room has not only, of course, a movie screen, but karaoke sing-off option popcorn machine, monster-themed day bed, and then, of course, you have a private patio level. That's also a great spot for table tennis. They've got it over there, along with the option to obviously go right into Surfside neighborhood anytime you want to do that. Now, the Ultimate Family Townhouse is a star classroom, which means you also get a Royal Genie. The room is 1,772 square feet with a wraparound balcony on the second level and a private balcony off the main bedroom. The main bedroom and kids' bedroom reside on the second level. Yeah, you know, if you're wondering, we don't have prices because a lot of people always ask, you know, well, how come you don't put prices in these videos, Matt? The price changes from sailing to sailing. The price for sailing one versus sailing seven versus sailing in 2025 is going to vary. But suffice to say, the Ultimate Family Townhouse will not be cheap. On other Royal Caribbean cruise ships, the Ultimate Family Suite usually starts somewhere between thirty and $40,000. So you got to imagine it's going to be even higher up from there. So it's one of those things, if you have to ask how much it is, you probably can't afford it. Next up in the star class is the Royal Loft Suite. This is a two-deck high stateroom with panoramic ocean views of Icon and the ocean, dining area with a wet bar and piano. The private balcony features a whirlpool and dining area with a bar and sink. The Royal Loft Suite is, I think, the adult ultimate experience compared to the ultimate family townhouse. Like, the townhouse is really meant for families, but if you don't have kids, the Royal Loft Suite really isn't too bad at all. And it measures, by the way, 1,482 square feet with a balcony space of 705 square feet and two bedrooms. Yeah, not bad. Then you have the last cabin in the star class, which is the Icon Loft Suite. Two decks high with panoramic views. The master bedroom is on the second level, and the bathroom includes a shower for two people. You'll find a balcony with a dining area. Basically, the Icon Loft is very similar to the loft suites that were introduced first on the Oasis class cruise ships and the Quantum class cruise ships. Really a neat idea. I really like these rooms and star class is really all about, you know, not necessarily getting the most, you know, bang for your buck, but splurging. This is where it's at. All these cabins, of course, get access to the Royal genius being part of the star class. Let's move down to sky class and we'll go down to the owner's suite. The owner's suite has a dedicated bedroom area with a door, stone entry bathroom, the tub shower and two sinks, the living room with table and a sofa that converts to a double bed. And there's a private balcony with table and chairs. The owner suite measures 658 square feet and a balcony of 190 square feet. The Sunset Corner Suite and the Sunset Suite itself are two new concepts for Icon of the Seas. So Royal Caribbean's internal research showed them 
that people that book cruises really want to see the ship's wake. So Royal Caribbean came up with this type of cabin. The Sunset Suite has wraparound, this is actually the Sunset Corner Suite, has wraparound balcony with endless views from the aft of the ship. Stone entry bathroom with tub and shower with two sinks and living area with table and sofa that convert to a double bed. Now the Sunset Suite itself has floor to ceiling windows that lead to the balcony. And just like the other cabin, there's a full bathroom with two tubs and two sinks, living area with sofa that converts to a double bed. Another new type of suite is the Infinite Grand Suite. So there's still a Grand Suite on board, but the Infinite Grand Suite is the only suite with an infinite balcony that extends the interior living space. This cabin also has a split compartment bath, which is really helpful. And then, of course, we also have the Grand Suite itself. And this has floor to ceiling views with a living room that has a sofa bed that converts to a double bed. Something else that's neat is the panoramic. So we talked about the panoramic room earlier. The panoramic suite is that same idea, but a bigger room. And it's a suite. It's sweet benefits with there. And it's located within the Aqua Dome. In fact, the panels that you see in this rendering of the panoramic suite are actually from the Aqua Dome. There's a full bathroom with tub, seating area with sofa, and panoramic views with an extended seating area. Another new type of suite is the Sky Junior Suite. So typically, the Junior Suites are relegated to the C-Class, but this is a Junior Suite that is part of the Sky Class benefits for the first time, and it is located in the suite neighborhood. There are floor-to-ceiling windows with a dressing area in the bedroom, and it's a full-size tub. And another new cabin that's new to Icon of the Seas, the Surfside Family Suite. If you've got a larger family, this might be a good idea for you because this is occupancy for four people, two adults, two kids, and this suite was designed with families in mind so that everybody has their own space. You'll find a kid's nook with a pull-out sofa, and there's a split bathroom and private balcony. And that leads us to the C-Class. And of course, you'll have a Sunset Junior Suite, which is a new type of suite again. Yeah, so this is a Junior Suite with sunset views. The Sunset Junior Suite has a panoramic view and a corner balcony. The ceiling height is the tallest of all of the Junior Suites, over seven feet tall, and this is located on the aft of the ship. And of course, you also have the Junior Suite itself, which is the standard Junior Suite you find on most Royal Caribbean cruise ships. Floor to ceiling ocean views are available in the Junior Suite, and they can measure at 322 square feet and a balcony size of 80 square feet. The Sunset Junior Suite, by the way, has a room size of 320 or 330 square feet and a balcony of 115 or 130 square feet in space. If you happen to be booking a Sky Class or a Star Class room, well, then you'll be able to take advantage of the new suite neighborhood on Icon of the Seas, which Royal Caribbean has dedicated even more space to than ever before. Reserved for guests who are staying in a suite, again, not the C Class, but the Sky Class and the Star Class, the suite neighborhood has special amenities not available to other guests on board. The Grove Suites on deck is an upgraded pool deck exclusively for Star and Sky Class guests. And of course, there's a suite lounge with suite concierge services available. Icon of the Seas will have two dining venues just for people who are staying in a suite. Coastal Kitchen has been expanded to two stories, and there's a brand new Grove casual dining venue that's been added featuring Mediterranean cuisine. Now, we often get questions about accessible rooms, like what happens if you need an accessible cabin? Well, there are 10 accessible cabin categories on Icon of the Seas for a total of 50 accessible cabin categories. And you'll see that there's Icon Loft, Surfside Family Suite, Junior Suite, Family Infinite Ocean View Balcony, Infinite Ocean View Balcony, Infinite Central Park View Balcony, Ocean View Balcony, Surfside Family View Balcony, Ocean View, and interior cabins as well. Being in an accessible cabin gets you an elevator in two-level Icon Loft Suites. There's a five-foot wheelchair turning radius in these accessible rooms, roll-in showers. Showers offer a handheld shower head and bench and wider doors. Now, as I mentioned, when it comes to the cabin prices, it really does run the gamut. So I can already foresee some people asking, you know, why didn't you put prices in here? I talked about this earlier, but it's really important to emphasize the price does vary. Now, being a brand new cruise ship, you will pay more than an existing cruise ship. So people that are looking for a bargain or a deal out there, Icon will help bring prices down for other ships in the fleet, even the Oasis class ship. So if maybe the prices aren't in store for you, you might go on, you know, Wonder of the Seas or Harmony or Oasis which are still fabulous ships or any of the other kind of ships in the fleet. Wonderful options there. But in general, if you're looking at the best price for an Icon of the Seas cruise, my best advice to you is to book as early as you can. The sooner you book it, the more likely you'll get a lower price. Prices go up over time because people tend to book cabins and then inventory drops as a result, and that drives up price, supply and demand, basic stuff right there. Now, if you want to learn more about Icon of the Seas, check out this video right here, which is going to lead you through all the major changes with Icon and what's significant that you should know about Icon of the Seas. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications as well. This has been Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. We'll talk again real soon.